Let's start with our first clip. I removed the grading I have done as a demo before, and together we are going to start afresh. Our mission is very easy. We are going to select the green grass and change its colors. First of all, we will select our green grass and refine our selection including every part and excluding the parts that we don't want from the green. Then we're going to have a mat and we are going to refine this mat, then play on the color collection that we want. For this, we are going to use the HSL qualifier. The HSL qualifier is based on the hue, saturation, luminance. That's why it's HSL. The hue is the color you are going to select. The saturation is the saturation of the colors that you are going to select. Luminance is the luminance of the range of colors you are going to select. And then from here, you can adjust your selection. Let's start. You have here three pickers. The picker itself, that's the one you start with, the remove color picker, and the add color picker. So we start by selecting a certain color, then we can add and remove. And of course, we can adjust the values over here. Now, please, guys, if you select the plus and try to get something, it won't work. So make sure you are selecting the picker. On the right side here, you can remove softness and add softness. I will show you how it works. On this side, you have two tabs, tab number one, tab number two. It is about the matte finesse. You are going to refine the matte using these properties over here. So let's start by picking a color. I would like you to select the picker and do not click once. Click and drag. I will start in the dark green here and move. Notice how it's adjusting the colors or the choice of hue, saturation, and luminance. I will undo. Let's say I start from here and go over here. You notice how they are working and being adjusted. So what do we have here? From the hue, it has selected this range of colors. You can see the green over here. From the saturation, it has selected this range of saturation according to the first peak. And it has selected a certain luminance. Now, how do you know what has been selected? You go to the highlights here and you put it on. In the highlights, you have two options. You have the options for the highlight. It will show you gray and colors. Gray meaning all the colors you have not selected. And whatever color you are seeing here are the colors you have selected. The black and white is the matte, and we are going to work on it later. So we'll go to gray here, and we notice what hasn't been selected and what has been selected. In the qualifier, you can start working here. You can click and change the selection. Here you are. Now we are selecting blue. Okay, now we are selecting green. Not our purpose. But also, you can extend the selection. You can click over here and extend it. Okay or you can come to the width and extend it from here. Now notice when you extend it, you add. When you shrink it, you remove colors selected. So I think the way we were was the best. Then you have the softness. Notice here what's gonna happen when I change the softness. It means it's gonna soften your selection. Notice some colors are disappearing here, but not all the colors are disappearing. It's only the softness. I will undo. The symmetry here, if you take it up, it will work on the left side for the softness. Take it down, it works on the right side of the softness. I'll put it back to 50. Saturation. This is the saturation of the selected colors. But you can add saturation and decide like I want more saturated colors to be selected. Not much is happening in our case when we take the high up. This is the high. But if you take the low up, it means the low saturation will be eliminated. You are narrowing the saturation selection. Not good at all for us. I think we are cool here. Luminance, if you notice, is not going to do much effect unless you go for high values or lower values or something like this. Luminance is not effective in our case here. Now, the best way is to come back to the picker and decide to add colors. For example, we need to select this range of colors here. So I'll click and just drag, it's okay. Then add these colors. And I want the three here, but I want this guy. So now you have created your mat and you want to refine this mat. Now, usually what I do, I put off the highlights and just increase the hue or play with it. So I have a certain change. Now I can know very well what has been selected, what hasn't been selected. 
Notice this tree is going to be very outstanding and we have selected these colors here. Let's try to deselect them. It's not going to work. And you notice too much has been deselected. So I have my own map using the hue. I will undo the hue. Up to now, we have completed the qualification for the colors or we completed the selection of the colors. In the next lecture, we're going to work with the mat and refine the mat. See you then.